Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who needs to find a redo and I found that redo by reselling used clothing, hard goods, what else do I say, shoes, <laughs> and making YouTube videos. And I've even started uh, with the flea market booth. So I'm just, you know, I think with reselling, you have to be willing to diversify. So today we're here for a haul. I went to uh, three different stores. I went to St. Joe Flea Market, I went to the Go Store, and I went to Salvation Army. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna look at the items that I picked up. I'm gonna tell you why I picked them up. And if I don't really know, like if I'm gonna list it on eBay and I don't know the, what I would list it for, then I will put insert over there. But hopefully I should be able to know most everything today. So let's start off with the St. Joe Flea Market. The first thing I got there, their shoes were half price, so they were $2. And I just got a pair of Asics shoes that were in pretty good condition. Uh, the bottoms have um, almost all their uh, tread on them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list this in my flea market booth. Uh, I paid $2, and you don't pay tax there. So I'll probably list them for $5.99 or $6.99. And so I'll make, you know, a quick three or four dollar profit oh and with the flea market of course I pay my monthly uh, fee and they take 10% okay the next item is a new pair of ASOS pants and they are a size let me see I took there's such a glare out here they are a size 14 okay nice new uh, cargo pants. So these, um, I will probably be selling myself. Great hiking. So maybe this fall will be great for that. So hot now. It was 104 today. And that was not heat index. I think it was 119 heat index. I live in Arkansas, guys. There's states south of me. What's the deal? Okay. So the next item I got there was a pair of Rockies. Um, these are Cowboy, cowgirls wear these. They're very high-waisted. Um, these are more of a tapered, uh, but you could for sure, looks like they've been hemmed. I'll have to note that, but that's probably good because uh, ropers, um, Rockies, and others tend to be long, so they have plenty of room for the boots, but this looks like plenty of room. So I will be putting these in my booth probably for uh, $4.95. Oh, and these were a dollar. It's really nice when you can pick up things you know you can sell, you can get quick turnaround. Those of you who go to um, oh, wait, consignment stores and uh, consign a lot of your clothes or do a buy-sell trade, then um, that's how you get your quick money. I think that the flea market is going to be my, how I get my money. Okay, the next pair of pants is a pair of Joe's. Uh, they are really good condition. They are more of the, I would say, a boot cut just offhand. They're a size 16, so a great size. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to check um, Thread Up, but I think I'm going to send these in to Thread Up. A lot of my purchasing today was for other things other than my eBay store and my Poshmark closet and my car or whatever that is, okay? This next is a pair of Lane Bryant. These are a linen, rayon, and spandex blend in a size 18. Um, because the season is so late, I still may send them in. I still may send them in to thread up because they're a great size, the content's great, and black is so hard to photograph. I know y'all all have the same problem. But, um, so right now, I, I'll just plan on sending them into Thread Up. I don't know how much I'll get, but I paid a dollar for them. So hopefully I can get more than a dollar. The next item is also a pair of pants, and these are also Lane Bryant, and they are a size 20. It says 22 right there, but they are a size 20. Just kind of a um, black, very small um, dot and kind of a wide leg, a wide 
bottom, if not, maybe it's straight to wide. It's not real wide, but it's, you know, pretty wide. So I plan on sending these in to thread up also. Can you tell I'm trying to get a box to send to thread up? You see, the, every once in a while you get to see my whirly bird. I thought I moved it over enough, but apparently not. And again, they were a dollar. Their pants were on sale. Normally the pants are $2.50 and today they were on sale for a dollar. So this is a pair of Ellen Tracy. Uh, so Ellen Tracy, these are a 10. And these are, let me see, I looked it up. I believe I'm going to say 100% linen, but I better check because I have been known to be wrong. Oh, I lied. There are 50... 60% linen and 40% rayon. So, um, I like these pants. They've got pockets. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking this might be a thread up send also. Again, it's a late in the year for the linen blends. I don't know how that'll work, but I'm going to try it. For a dollar, I'll take a chance. Okay. The next pair of, uh, next item is a pair of Jordash Vintage jeans definitely high-waisted uh the distressing see the distressing and it also has a raw hem okay they are probably not vintage because they say jordash vintage but um you know this is something i'm probably gonna sell myself i just like them look to me like a perfect pant for a girl for this fall and winter a young lady and the jeans were also a dollar Okay, the next item, and I, don't, I just picked it up because it was Bowden, and I don't see Bowden very much, but this is a white, like, jacket. It says it's an 18. I don't know. doesn't look like an 18. It is 100% linen. Kind of a set an over jacket. I guess you could wear it as a shirt. Yeah, you can wear it as a shirt. But it looks awful small for an 18. I mean, I usually wear a 14 to 16, and it looks like it may fit me just fine. But I do plan on getting that listed on eBay and Poshmark. Okay. This is just a cute little pair of shorts. Their shorts are uh, 50 cents. Cute little embroidery. And what I got, th these are just so size 10. But what I got these for is my upcoming Ray Lana sale. Uh, I did this last in the fall. And I was, or I mean, I'm sorry, in the spring. And I was real pleased with the results. At the first one, my first one I did, I think I took like 60 items and I made $167. And these were items of things that people had given me that I kept the kids clothes. They were also things I went to uh, thrifted for like 50 cents or to the bins for sometimes less than 50 cents. So this is, I'll pair it with a cute little shirt and it'll, and it's like, we drop off in two and a half weeks, I think. So for the first one, okay. The next pair of next item is these pair of shoes, and I, I'm not familiar with them, but they look nice, and they're called Petaped, and they were two dollars. Um, I hope I didn't overpay. I didn't look it up. That place, that place was busy, busy today. I just don't like going on busy, busy days. But apparently I picked today to go, and it's Thursdays before lunch. I'm smarter than that. They only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So these are a size 29. Then I also got a pair of Crocs, the cute little kid Crocs in a size 8, 9. And so these two pair of shoes, I plan on putting in Ray Lana's, okay? I've got to check the sale prices. These might go in my booth. I think I might make a better profit on them because people know Crocs. They like Crocs. So I might make a better profit. I've just got to sit down and kind of evaluate what I think. Okay. And then there was one more pair of shoes. I just thought they were the coolest shoes. I tried to run comps. I wasn't having any luck. Probably I didn't even type it in right. But these are Oka. I don't know if it's Oga Loga or Oka Loka, and these are made in Spain, but aren't they just the cutest little loafers? These are a size 32, but I just loved them. When I saw them, it's like $2. Yeah, I'll take those. I don't even know what they are, but I'll take those. You ever do that? Just recognize quality. I mean, kids shoes, made in Spain, they gotta be good, 
Okay, then I found a couple of bits. Sorry, I'm just kind of going, I'm just pulling things out of the bag. I didn't have them in any certain order. Okay, this is a wide belt, really cute leather. See, um, it does have an issue right here. I'll have to see if I can repair it. If I can, I mean, even if I can, I'll disclose it. But this is not branded. This is not branded. So you can see here, cool. I mean, everything about this belt is just cool. <coughs> and I do sell belts, so I'm looking forward to selling this one myself. Okay, let's see. I've got a couple more belts. Oh, I was going to take out my personal stuff. This is for my son. It's a belt. Nice little leather belt. Uh, let's see. It's a 38, and he wears a 36 pants, so isn't that how you're supposed to go? Just a real nice little black leather belt with some stitching. And then, let me pull the other one out that says, this is just a braided belt. I don't really know if he likes these, but I bought it anyway. <laughs> you ever do that? I just bought it anyway for him. But this is also a size 38. Okay, and then I have one more belt. And I love this belt. I wish it fit me, but it doesn't. Look at that wide buckle. It still has the little tag, so probably nobody ever wore it. There's not any signs of wear, okay? This is beautiful. It's a braided belt, and it is by, can you see it? Let me see if I can see it. Lauren Ralph Lauren. The original price, which just still has this, the thing in it, was $88. So, the belts were a dollar. I thought they used to be 50 cents, but they must have gone up. Darn the bad luck. Okay, let's look at the rest of the stuff. That I got from there. I got this um, tea by Alexander Wang, kind of burnout tea, just real cute. If it'll sell on um, Thread Up, I'm sending it to Thread Up. We'll just see. And if y'all know, if I put out something and say I am going to sell it on Thread Up, and you're like, oh my God, why are you going to do that? Let me know. Let me know. Okay. And this is a Polo Ralph Lauren 3XB. So the only reason I picked it up, it was 250. It's in great shape. Great shape. But uh, <coughs> I try not to pick up Polo shirts for more than a couple of dollars. But when they're that, when they're an extreme large size, like 3XB, I'll take that chance. I ran into a friend of mine while I was there. And uh, she was showing me some of the things she picked up. She has a daughter-in-law who's pregnant with her first biological grandbaby. And so she was showing me this shirt and it was a white shirt and it was so pretty. Well, I went to the larger, because hers, the one she had was in a large. Well, I went to the larger sizes and found this one that is the same style. I believe this is mine, so, oops, a dollar. I was gonna try to have them all divided out, but. I just couldn't. Okay, and then the um, last one that I got from there is by White House Black Market. Just a cute little uh, mixed material. Maybe the hem mixed material, and it's got some um, little metallic threads going through it. And I'm going to send this to thread up because I hear White House Black Market does well. And I started. I went to <laughs> went to my store and was typing in White House Black Market because I thought. I'm sitting here, I was watching um, Thrift Generation, and Jennifer, she's just a, just an up-and-coming, real talent. And she was talking about that White House Black Market really does well for her at Thread Up. So I thought, I shall try that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and skip, a, skip one and tell you this is what I picked up at Salvation Army. Normally, I have pretty good luck, but their prices have gone up. And I'm just not going to pay it, guys. You know, I'm just not going to pay it. So, this is by Vineyard Vines. It is new. It's still got the um, buttons. It doesn't have the little whale. That was the only thing that held me back. It doesn't have the little whale, but it's just really pretty. And let me see what it cost. 87 cents because it was 75% off. So I said, I'll have that. And then this little Arkansas bear, I'm going to put in my booth. 
it was 50 cents. And I bought another item for 50 cents there. I spent a dollar 87, I think. That would be right, because two 50 cents and an 87 cent item. Okay, so now the next store, well, actually the middle store that I went to was the ghost store. And I, y'all heard me speak of the ghost store. I love the ghost store. If you're in the Faulkner County area, you need to go to the ghost store. I mean, I hate giving away my hidey holes, but this is such a wonderful store at very reasonable prices that it is in downtown Conway. Right now, they're doing road work on their street that got, that's their own, and that's a pain in the tail end for them, but uh, uh, they're making it work. So I went there, and I picked up these, some Keen sneakers, and I don't know if I'm going to like them. I've never worn Keen. Y'all know I mainly wear Hoka's and Birkenstocks, but these do have that same wide toe that I like from both of them, and they're in really good shape. So I thought for $5 five dollars I would take a chance on these these are ten I tried them on they do fit I was surprised normally I wear nine and a half but they did fit real well um, so I bought them and because I thought if I don't like them I'll sell them I can make my money back and the world is good okay next little item so these are items that I that were actually priced and I'll tell you all about that in a little bit this is a I heard it through the grapevine sweatshirt with the California raisins and this is from I may have to, well, I have to put on my glasses real quick to read that there's such a glare now I'm outside and y'all hear my fountain and everything um, but okay so let's see is California raisins it is from 1987 That's what it says I don't know it looks like it looks like it was taken good care of so I'm hoping it is because I, I did pay $3. I paid up at their store for this, $3. <laughs> it's a great program. Okay, the next item, let's see. Oh, items that I got. I bought four of them because they were $2 each. And it says here, these are by Blessed Girl. It says here, too grateful to be hateful. Don't you wish the whole world felt that way? So, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep one. But then I have two more two X's and one more X. And so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is put these up in my booth. I think I can get seven or eight dollars for them because they're really cute. Maybe right not, not right now, but come closer time to the, the fall, I should be able to. So, I'm keeping this one, selling that one. And then the little, I think this is the last item that I paid sep paid um, for and this is Dr. Beasley's um, detailing your detailing prescription you see that? these were five dollars and there were three bottles in here there was a Dr. Beasley's matte body wash a matte paint cleanser and a matte paint sealant okay now I just did a quick little look I felt like they were worth more than five dollars just because I've dealt with other products similar to this and they usually are but I just quickly put in the paint cleanser and there was one that recently sold for $35.95 just by itself so I'm thinking that's a good sign I should be able to make some decent money on this box okay at the ghost store um, they sell some of their clothes uh, for each bag, $5, and um, up to 10 items. So I always try to get up close to 20. During the winter, it's a little harder because you get those sweaters and stuff. Okay, this is a cute little cardigan, a little lightweight cardigan. That I, did I tell you I was keeping it for myself? Yeah, looks Another one I'm keeping for myself. Okay. <laughs> So the next, the, the first item that, that I'm not keeping for myself in this is an Adidas polo, pretty orange polo. It's got the little, um, I can't think what they're called. Sorry, I want to take these glasses back off because they're just going to slide down my nose because it's so wet out here. Okay, the next item I got for the, um, Ray Lanas, 
and it is just a stars and sprinkles top just i thought it was a real pretty top cute with uh, i'll pair it with a pair of shorts and i'll have an outfit and so i paid 50 cents for that so i paid 50 cents for both of those items and because they're both flowers that may be what i pair up and charge 4.95 for i still make about two or three dollars okay so we'll see they're cute though okay the next item is by fresh produce i usually have really good luck with fresh produce so i'm going to check these comps um they are capri so i might need to go ahead and get them listed and then if they don't sell by whenever then send them to thread up but i haven't decided with these sorry i've just made piles with everything okay this next top is for my grandson it says genius alert okay just a cute little top that um for him playing we have them a couple of days three days during the, the summer so then this is a pair of silk pants by adriana papel um real pretty they're size 10. Uh, it's real pretty i'm gonna check but i believe i'm sending these into thread up sorry guys i am just literally sweating it's just like and i'm not a sweater but i'm just sweat it's just dripping off me who knew who knew being outside when it's 100 degrees would make you sweat okay this is a tahari linen top a real pretty um kind of a chambray uh, i don't know not really a chambray it's a gray pretty color the only problem is is i'm gonna plan it on uh selling this but i will have to probably i might can steam clean it but i'm thinking i may have to iron those sleeves i don't know i hate to iron i don't mind so much the steam cleaning but i hate that sorry this is just sticking to me every time i bend forward it sticks to me okay so the next item is a Lafayette 148 and this is just a little jacket dress, a very nice little casual churchy, well I shouldn't say casual, like churchy dress, but real nice and I'm going to send this in to thread up. Okay. I love this dress. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. And this is Catherine's black label i'd never heard of the, their black label and it is um, polyester which makes it easy but look how pretty that is it is a size 4x isn't that just so so pretty i just loved it when i saw it and again 50 cents for it so i will take that every time i should have been putting these in different piles should i like list myself right up right on us I'll just do it all when I'm done. Okay, this is a real pretty blouse by Ann Klein. Um, I'm going to send this into the real reel. I just thought it was pretty. I've never seen anything Ann Klein in. And I just wanted to uh, kind of diversify what I was sending in. So I get a better idea. Before, I've kind of mainly sent dressy stuff. And that is a dressy top. I still probably am sending dressy stuff. Okay. The next item is a soft surroundings uh, dress. And it's got real pretty, it's got like over, it's um, it's like a velvet um, applique kind of, but it's real pretty. Um, and again, it's by soft surroundings and it is a size small. So you can wear it as a tunic or a dress, but I think for, it would be really cute for a little dress if you wear that size. Okay, the next one, and I have, did not run any kind of comps. This is Zutter. And it's got that cute little love with the little um, feather on it. And this is going in my boot. Because um, generally, I mean, I should be able to get good money for that. Okay, this is by J. Jill. It's their Love Linen brand. And it's a cardigan with pockets up front just really a nice one uh, it's a medium i had i tried it on thinking it might be oversized but no not acting as a cardigan but it's in um really good shape i think yeah i'm pretty sure these were designed to be there you see the little holes so i'm pretty sure it's in good shape but it is 100 percent linen okay i'm gonna make it through this without passing out so y'all just bear with me okay okay so this is a Notori swimsuit cover-up, 
I assume that that's what it is. Uh, just cute. It looked like it was in really good shape. White, I'm always leery. I'm sure y'all are too. But uh, I picked that up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. I just got it. Notori's usually a good brand. Okay, this is another um, really nice linen piece. Y'all know I love linen. I'm going to let thread up help me. It's a little jacket. I'm look the... So this has little cutouts and everything, and it is 100% um, linen. Uh, so just really nice. Well, you know the this is not linen, but the rest of it is real, real pretty. I don't know. It's so late to be sending these linen things into thread up, but I still may try it if I can get them out. Mm, it looks like it may have a spot. No, nope, I think it does. No, nope, I don't see it. So I don't think maybe maybe I was wrong. It'll be the first time, gosh. Okay, this next one. Are you seeing a theme? It's called linen. <laughs> next piece is Susan Bristol, and this is an extra large sleeveless top or pretty um, embroidery on it. Just kind of your classic summer top would be. You know, it runs small, so I, I would like to wear it. This is my OMG top that I that I um, thrifted last week. Okay, another pair of shorts that I will include. These are Cat and Jack in my uh, Raylanas uh, stuff. And there's two Raylana sales that I went to last year and made, you know, like close to $700, $700 on them. So I think it's a winner. And then another cute little uh, girl's dress. And this is just Oshkosh. But a cute little dress. Um, this first one, they allow you more summery things. They're, it's really a, their fall sale, but they do allow you more summer things because it is still so hot. So, what do you think about the, my clothes and my items? So, it added up everything, included everything that I bought for myself. Was, it added up to 70 Yes, $73.87. So $73.87 is what. All of this plus five puzzles, uh, a couple of frames that I'm going to put in my uh, flea market booth. So all of that. So I think I did pretty good. Um, the most expensive thing I bought were this Dr. Beasley's and the Keen Shoes. Everything else was, well, every, all the clothing items and belts and stuff were all a dollar. So I'm happy. If you like this video, video, oh, let's start this off again. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. It does mean the world to me. I'm trying. I'm trying to get my numbers up. I really would like to get monetized at some time, um, but I have slowed down on making my videos because it, it is a lot of work by the time you make them and then edit them. But, you know, because we kind of discuss prices and everything now, I don't have to go back and edit that. It's going to be about 30 minutes long, but I don't have to go back and edit it. If you want to see more videos by me, if you want to see more hauls, if you want to see unboxings, if you want to see what sold, then please hit the subscribe button. And I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.